Hi everyone, so today we are looking at interpreting bar charts. So remember a bar chart is just a different chart that can show us different information similar to tally charts and pictograms that we've been learning about earlier in the week. So here I have a bar chart for you. This shows a chart of three children wanting to find out how many paper clips their magnet would pick up. Okay, so they tested five different magnets, A, B, C, D and E, and they represented their results in this bar chart. Okay, so as you can see there, we have the magnets across the bottom, and we also have the number of paper clips along the side. Now this one, if you're looking at the numbers here, zero, one, two, so our bar chart counts in one, so it's nice and easy. On the side, each square here is representing one paper clip. So, Mrs. Upshot's got some questions for us. I'm hoping you can help me work them out as we go along. I certainly have. Right. Question one Which magnet picked up the most paper clips? So, I'm going to look for the magnets across the bottom and look for the one that has the most. So, most is biggest or largest. So, straight away, I can see this one, and that is magnet number B, and that had 11. So, B had the most. Well paper done, clips. Miss McCartney. What about question two then? Which magnet did not pick up any paper clips? Now, looking across the bottom here, the magnet. I can see one magnet, magnet D, that hasn't really got any squares marked onto the chart. So I would say magnet D didn't pick up any paper clips. Well done. Um, right, which magnet picked up eight paper clips? Oh, see now I could look across the magnets across the bottom, but what I'm going to do instead is have a look at the number of paper clips on the side and work my way to number eight. And I'm going to use my finger to draw across, and I can see that magnet E picked up eight paper clips. Good, good, good. How many clips were picked up by magnet C then? Oh, so if I have a look at magnet C, one, two, three, four, yep, that's on the fourth line. So magnet C picked up four paper clips. Okay, now it gets a bit trickier, Miss McCartney. How many fewer clips were picked up by magnet A than magnet B? Okay, so now I need to compare the two. So I'm looking at how many fewer to how many less clips were picked up. So let's check how many B had first. So B had 11 paper clips and A had 7. So I need to look at how much less 7 is than 11. So I could count backwards, but that would take me a really long time. So I'm going to count on from 7 to 11. 8, 9, 10, 11, so 4. So magnet A had 4 fewer paper clips than magnet B. Okay, what about fewer paper clips for magnet D than magnet E then? Oh, okay. So magnet D, we remember earlier, didn't have any paper clips. And magnet E along the side picked up eight so magnet d had eight fewer than magnet e okay um last two questions then how many more clips were picked up by magnet b than magnet e okay how many more clips this time i'm looking at b and it's going to pick up more than magnet e so b picks up 11 and e picks up eight so again i'm not going to take away because that'll take me a long time i'm going to count on from eight to eleven 10, 11, so three extra magnet clips. Okay, last question. How many more clips were picked up by magnet A than magnet C? Okay, so more, but I need to compare magnet A and magnet C. Have a little look from here for me, see if you guys can have a check of how many magnet A picked up and how many magnet C, and see if you can think of the answer at home while I try to work it out. Magnet A had seven, magnet C had four, five, six, seven. Magnet A picked up three more paper clips than magnet C, or magnet C had three less than magnet A. Hope you all agree with Miss McCartney because she got the results 100% correct. Well done. Lovely. Well, now it's your time to have a little go. So follow the questions at the bottom of the sheet and you can have a go. Bye. Bye.